If you're like me, you're the type of person who gets bored relatively easily and you are always on the lookout of new ways to challenge yourself professionally. So let's talk about some things I have done to push myself recently that are working for me. First off, push yourself out of your comfort zone by making it your mission to meet at least three new business contacts a week. This can broaden your network and build your business. Also, identify a new mentor. This can help with focusing on your career objectives and longer term goals. Three, sign up for a professional development course so that you can grow your skill set. It is through challenging ourselves that we can grow and develop as individuals. Think about this. Being yourself is not about doing something that you are not comfortable with. It is about pushing your boundaries and learning new things. It is about taking the time to do things that make you uncomfortable so that you can grow more confident in yourself. Challenging yourself in life means being open to new experiences. Set goals that are challenging enough so that you take time, but they're not too hard so that you give up. You should also reward yourself after completing a challenge with something that makes you happy, like going out with friends or buying yourself something nice. Find a mentor. Find someone who has achieved what you want to achieve and ask them for guidance. A mentor will not only help you develop your skills, but they will also provide encouragement when you need it the most. No one likes hearing about their weaknesses, but if you want to grow as a professional, you need to ask people for feedback. This is especially useful for people who are in leadership roles, as it provides them with a chance to grow and improve without being told. In order to be successful, you have to accept that mistakes will happen and learn from your failures. If you learn from your failures, you'll be able to remember what might have gone wrong in the future and not make the same mistakes again. Now let's touch on the power of the word no. Now don't say no too quickly. It's important not to say no too quickly, not because it will prevent you from being successful, but because it's important to practice saying no and building your confidence. Doing this will give you the opportunity to build a no that is empowering rather than defensive. Learn to say no, but I want it. Too much of our work involves trying to please or convince others and turning people down can be challenging. That is what the power of no is about and why it is a challenge to master for some. Start breaking your daily routine. Routines can be helpful. They help you navigate through life without worrying about every little detail. But they also keep you trapped in your comfort zone which stunts your development. Do tasks that make you uncomfortable. Push yourself to do new things. If you are an introvert, start working in groups mingle in social circles. I am an introvert and I prefer sticking to a smaller circle that I'm comfortable with. Over time, I'll start to see how important it is to get out and to meet new people. You can learn so much from people that are from outside of your circle. So go out and attack your fears. I don't like heights. I just recently took my first airplane fight and surprisingly, it was nothing really to be afraid of. It got me to thinking about how many life experiences I have missed out on because of that particular fear. Take baby steps in tackling your fears, but go out and do it. Our brains have been wired to resist change because routines are proven safe places and we are wired to stay safe and comfortable. But to improve, you have to shake that thinking. Challenge yourself and grow in your personal and professional life. Don't be stagnant and boring get moving, get to growing. If you are looking to learn a new way to earn extra money for the upcoming holiday season, let me show you something different. Step out of your comfort zone and let's talk. Thank you for your time today. Be great.